um, uh, small battlefield. I'm not sorry. Uh, Smashville was, was, was the last thing on my mind uh, and thinking what, what they would actually pick. But we are going to go to it. Yep, we will <coughs> see coming in on our game one. Still, pools winners. Is it pools winners round two? I feel like we're later in the night than that. Uh, yeah. And we are still looking at some. There we go. There we go. So, uh, already, woof, already uh, Suarez is at 60% over here. Yep, uh, King Ark playing around this platform pretty well right now, getting some nice uh, reset situations. Ooh, but that down air going to be big damage. Now King Ark at the ledge. <coughs> oh, oh I, I, I saw the attempt at, at, at an up tilt, but, uh, but Suarez could definitely stop him out of it. Yeah, and we can already see the space control being so great for King Ark, but now offstage again, going to use... The roll this time. Last time King Ark uh, came up with a downward metal blade, doing such a great job at stuffing Suarez's uh, ledge trapping attempts, getting him free reign back into center stage Ooh. and a metal blade into back air. Going to be taking uh, stock one in King Ark's favor. Hey, let's let's go. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh, King Ark is, is getting a little scrambled, but he managed to go to get out of it. Oh, never mind. Not back up in the air from it just yet. No raid. <laughs> But the uh, sour spot forward air going to be taking things for Suarez with no extra credit on the board for King Ark. Yeah, now we we are back to even okay, but between the two. Uh, let's see. Off, there's been an awful lot, a lot of swinging, but uh, it, it seems that Suarez over here is taking a little more advantage of, of, of the situation. Yeah, and I really feel like where it's coming down to in this matchup is... King Arc using especially like Metal Blade to cover so much space uh, when Suarez wants to push his advantage. Ooh, almost getting a, uh, a pop up there with the back air, not finding it. Now King Arc trying to find himself some space underneath that Smashville platform. The Leaf Shield doing, doing some pretty good work. Ooh. I really love that charge shot. King Arc recognizing that Suarez was out of the uh, out of the air dodge. So, you know, you oh. wouldn't be able to air dodge that. But now King Ark has to find his way back into center stage. Some great movement by Suarez tricking him up. Yeah, I'm I'm really liking the 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 options of what Suarez does okay, whenever King Ark is, is in the egg. Whew. Great spacing by King Ark, just spacing outside of that back air, not able to get the metal blade out of it, but now in a potential another edge guard situation. Ooh, good, good aware by Suarez. S -s -s saw that uh, back air coming a mile away, but didn't, but uh, still managed to live live up for, for the second uh, back air. A third? Uh, Ooh, thir yep. Third one gets it. Ooh, and getting the crash bomber. Putting King Ark in a weird situation where they were both hit. Yeah, but um, yeah, but but, but uh, Suarez of course, did not manage to, to make much of it afterwards. Yep. And now King Ark up a stock. This is where we see the Mega Man game plan of nickels and dimes really paying out. You know, Suarez is gonna have to work pretty hard for this next kill, and just especially if King Ark can just keep it up with you know metal blades, lemons, crash bombers. Suarez maybe gonna be looking at a lot of extra credit, but only if King Ark can get Woo! back into center stage, just barely weaving around that forward air. Oh man, uh, Suarez is definitely hunting uh, off, off stage for any sort of opportunity to, uh, to uh, kill Mega Man. Yeah, I think King Ark maybe panicked a little bit right there, recognizing that he wasn't going to be getting a lot of invincibility frames out of that ledge scenario. Rolled in just a little bit too fast. Suarez ready with the neutral air. But now that King Ark doesn't have to worry about you know losing his second stock, he can play a little bit more aggressively, and you can see it paying out. Suarez already at 75%. So what I really do like with King is that whenever he uses a leaf shield, he he is uh, being somewhat close to uh, to Suarez shield to make him stay put in case he tries to do something out of shield. I like it. Yeah, leaf shield is just kind of a move that just makes you uncomfortable in your shield, where it's just King Ark just runs up to you and just kind of knocks on your shield like, hey, anyone home? And then walks away. And then if you jump out of it, then you probably get hit by it because he throws it at you. Oh, but King Ark now in a very sick, scary situation does though make it back in the center stage. And the forward smash, 
catching Suarez coming down with buttons. My, my man, the king. Actually, did a, a, a nothing personal kid or, or, or Suarez. <laughs> All right, yeah, so we saw King Arc almost get the same exact setup with the Metal Blade into back air for both stocks, or both uh, stock one and stock two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. There's the first one. Let's see. One played out. Suarez tried to use some eggs to cover himself coming back, but a little bit too aggressive with the neutral air. Well, I got, well, I got to say, though, I, even though I, I did have my c c concerns, uh, King Arc actually proved me wrong, and... and uh, and, and my doubts are on the stage. He, he actually managed to, uh, to, to to get a W out of it. Mm -hmm. But now I'm curious, uh, uh, what, uh, what stage we're going to go to next? Oh, that, per sure. that nothing personal kid. That was actually <laughs> the exact same setup that uh, King Ark did earlier, recognizing that Suarez burned his air dodge and then using it, using the forward smash to cover so much horizontal range. Mm -hmm. Because you're just gonna have to land somewhere. You're gonna have to take it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we are actually getting a counter pick. We are actually going to a different stage. Let's go. So small battlefield. Obviously, the smaller stage does mean that Suarez is gonna be able to, you know, scrap a little bit more. But I almost do okay. Ooh, the dunk. A great dunk there by Suarez. So now he's got so much room to play around with. Yeah, you know, I would have, I would have thought the the king would be a little bit more careful as, as far as challenging uh, Suarez's uh, forward forward air, but uh, that's like the fourth time in general that he's been caught caught by by a dunk that actually managed to kill him. We have seen definitely uh, King Arc been doing a really good job of covering himself with hitboxes like that leaf shield right there doing such a good job of covering king arc while he's coming back into center stage but now king arc really has to look for this kill it felt like in game one when it came to kills they were they were uh pretty even in terms of you know how fast they were getting the kills so a an early lead like this for suarez is gonna be so huge yeah, and, and and I am curious to see how King Arc responds to this uh, deficit, because uh, oh, unfortunate for King Arc, an up air, uh, trying to trade an up air for one of his own, but unfortunately, as far as is just a little bit more powerful, and that is even more rage off the deck for King Arc has to work that much harder to get Suarez's first. I have to wonder if at this point. Especially just kind of the way that Mega Man plays with those nickels and dimes. At this point, do you just kind of start thinking about Game Three? Uh, potentially. But uh, but seeing as, as how King Arc uh, managed to finally uh, take a stock, there could be a potential chance that he could take Game Two. But he needs to be uh, a little a little more cautious, a little more careful. Uh, Nick doing the nickels and dimes uh, on uh, on uh, on Suarez is probably a fairly good idea, but he needs to also be careful of, of uh, Suarez's options, like like the Nair, for Ooh. example, the the egg the, the egg the, the egg the down there, and and the down uh, and the forward there. Oh my God! And Suarez just keeps coming with these with this advantage state, and that's kind of where this game oh. two has gone, where it just feels like Suarez has been. Suarez has been extending his advantage even further, and there we go, a two-stock in Suarez's favor. Ooh. Uh, Suarez def... Suarez uh, definitely uh, brought, brought up the, uh, the heat on, on game on game two, or at least seen that picked up uh, his habits. But now I'm wondering, where, where would King Arc take uh, Su uh, Suarez now? Uh, I did not see what the uh, stage pick was, but we will see in just a moment. Let's see. Ah, All right, we have final destination. Mm, I am not sure about this. I I think it makes sense for King Arc. You know, final destination traditionally a a great zoner stage, uh, especially the way that we've seen Swar or King Arc. Uh, do so much work when it comes to like covering Suarez's landings, and of course the platforms just or the lack thereof gonna be making that so much easier for King Arc. Oh, I see, I see. Well, 
I'm, uh, well, I'm just hoping he, he can actually uh, protect himself uh, in, in this round. Because, again, it's, it seems like Suarez was able to uh, uh, take advantage of, of, of a lot of situations that uh, that ended up uh, quite, quite hitting the king, especially, especially when he was, like, off stage. But now we have we got King Ark over here taking the, the, the first stop off of Suarez. Yep, and, you know, like we were saying before, the lack of platforms just allowing King Ark to extend his advantage that much further, as well as, you know, kind of neutering Suarez's advantage. We saw in game two, Suarez got so many extensions off of that platform, and without those, King Ark gonna be living that much longer, especially if he can't really use those platforms to get some tricky movement to find his way in. Mm, yes, yes. Now, uh... because right now, without without platforms, it is just raw Yoshi trying to get in on a Mega Man, and Mega Man has the tools to keep you out. He's got the metal blades, the lemons. He's if Mega Man doesn't want you in, you're not getting in. And we can already see that, though finally an overextension with the Metal Blade. Not going to be taking King Ark's stock just yet, but a great roll read. Finally putting Suarez on the board in this game three. But uh, but King, of course, is still, is still at the advantage, uh, which is getting smaller and smaller by the minute. And already we we are uh, pretty neck and neck on, uh, on damage, or, or at least, of course, very close to each other. Yep, Suarez proving, you know, I don't really need platforms that much to keep hitting you. I'll still keep hitting you. Double jump armor getting Suarez back into center stage once more. And and uh, just like that, it's uh, Suarez uh, has, still has a, a slightly more p potential chance of, of, take, of taking uh, game three. But uh, but uh, King Ark, uh, d depending on, on, on how he plays uh, the, edge, the edge guarding game, still has a chance to uh, take game three as well. All right, Crash Bomber on Suarez right now, but nice use of the ledge invincibility, but not good enough. I think King Ark actually read that. Red Suarez using the uh, normal getup to get past the Crash Bomber and getting a stock for it. King Ark is still sitting at 82 on his second stock. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, there we go. What a drag down, bear. Oh, but down there's not gonna do it. No rage online for Suarez, means King Ark gonna be living, and that's so many more Metal Blades and Lemons that you have coming your way. Yeah, but uh, at, almost anything can kill Mega Man at, uh, at this point, and uh, King needs to be absolutely careful. Now, uh, now if King wants... What a spot to Never mind! <laughs> I was scared to say if, if King wanted, he he could just sort of uh, fade back and, and just keep just keep using projectiles and just dance all around them. But uh, Suarez uh, actually took away the, uh, that 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 the thing off the table immediately after I said that, or before I said it. Oh. All right, Suarez without a uh, double jump there. King Ark tried to go for the exact same thing. Just throw out an F smash when the the Yoshi doesn't have a, an air dodge. See if it, we see it again. No, King Ark did not have the time that time to set it up. Ooh, good, good response to to, to, to that super armor, that jump armor. I mean, there you go. Ooh, yeah, you gotta be careful sitting oh. next to a Mega Man with Metal Blade and Shield, but oh, King Ark getting Ooh. so much damage on him right now. That uh. <laughs> saved Suarez's life. Uh. King, oh. King did get a little greedy with, with, with that F smash, and it might... That might be it. The very back hit of up tilt. Gonna be taking things uh, in Suarez's favor. Uh, a close a close game uh, caught, 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 uh, by the King, but unfortunately, uh, caught Suarez uh, caught, did manage to, caught, the, to, to get that W in, in the end. Good stuff to, 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 to both players, uh, honestly, as, as far as uh, adaptation and and and, situ and situational awareness. Yeah, definitely. I think <coughs> kind of what it came down to was uh, King Ark just getting a little bit too aggressive when he was at kill percents, like we saw there. The um, the whipped grab gave Suarez an opportunity for a, a down B kill. We did see, I think, coming up right here. That was another whipped grab. And I think even in the last stock, they were both sitting in shield next to each other, and King Ark was the one who was first to uh, 
to pull the trigger. That was gross, by the way. That's a dishonest move right there. Yoshi <laughs> up tilt. Hits so far behind him. He did manage to, to, to catch... Uh... Basically a sword. Wow! Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, never mind. That is the, the, the sauce. He manages the, 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 to catch Mega Man from the tip of his tail from behind. That's... <laughs> you hate to see it. I hate to see it. 